It's important to establish the ideal bite position for a patient, but this can be a difficult proposition when patients already have extensive dental work, worn teeth, missing teeth, or teeth that are kept from meshing properly by cranial skeletal misalignments. The Myotronics K7 evaluation system allows us to gather and record objective information on the current status of the muscles controlling the bite. The system gathers information in three different configurations. First, we place duotrodes on the skin over the muscle groups that control chewing, talking, and swallowing. There you go. We then connect the leads from the 8-channel electromyography unit, which measures electrical activity in the muscles. This data is then displayed on the computer screen. Okay, can you bite and squeeze harder? You can keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing harder, harder, keep going. With a possible 19 different tests, we can see what is happening by testing muscle response in the head, face, and neck, tracking the jaw as it opens and closes in a three-dimensional space. Second, we relax the facial and neck muscles using a low-frequency TENS, or transcutational electrical neural stimulation, which allows stressed muscles to relax. Next, we place a magnet under the tongue of a patient and strap on the sensor array, the front part of which rests on the bridge of the nose. Is that too tight? This array tracks the magnet position under the tongue through various tests. We have the jaw moving forward at 8.8. .8. We have the patient moving 10.5 millimeters to his right and only 8 millimeters to his left. And then we have a maximum opening of 44.9 or 45 millimeters here. After calibrating and leveling the array using bite adjustment protocols, we can establish the best physiological bite position for the patient, one that is relaxed, strong, and aligned with the surrounding structure, one that efficiently handles the bite force.